So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Mac, iMac, MacBook, Mac Mini, whatever you have is stuck on an Apple logo. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, and this happens to me every once in a while. Now, the first thing I'd recommend doing is what Apple recommends, is that if you're installing some sort of macOS update or an upgrade, you need to wait until that thing is completely done installing. So it could take a little bit of time, it could take a couple hours, maybe even overnight. So keep that in mind, that's kind of the first thing Apple recommends, and I'll leave my whole link that I'm reading this from in the description below. You can go ahead and follow these instructions from there as well. But if it's an update, you pretty much just need to wait it out until they end up you know, installing that update completely. So keep that in mind. Now on top of that, if your Mac is still stuck on the screen or if it keeps restarting, what Apple actually recommends to do here is to press and hold a couple of different buttons. So press and hold the power button on your particular Mac for up to 10 seconds. And then what you wanna do, and when your Mac completely turns off, you wanna go and hold down your particular power button and you wanna go and turn that thing back on. Now, that's just a simple restart. That's kind of the first thing I'd recommend doing and for a lot of people, that could end up fixing it for a lot of people. Now, if that doesn't end up working for you, another thing you can try doing here is to try going through and restarting your particular Mac inside of the disk utility or repair to restart your, you know, your startup disk. So what you can do here and what this looks like is basically you just want to go through and start up. You can type in like what model MacBook you have or model Mac you have. You can type in like 2017 iMac startup and disk repair or, you know, reset mode. And what you can do is you can find out how to get your Mac into that particular mode. And from there, you want to get into that repair startup disk panel and you want to follow the instructions of repairing your startup disk on that panel or you can reinstall macOS from that, or you can restore from a time machine backup. Those things might be another option that you may have, and that could end up probably fixing the problem for a lot of people as well. So that's pretty much how it's done for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.